Welcome, you guys. This is a new microphone that I've got, and I hope it's going to work better than the old one. Um, welcome to the stream. I'm just going to. Uh, I just need to uh, just do one thing here, and we'll start uh, leveling our archer. Right now, we are level 15, and we are starting to uh, go into some harder dungeons. So. Um, I just need to get my chat under control here. Just give me one second. That's because I just want to watch the chat here. And So, all right, so let's get rolling, baby. <laughs> okay, we need to uh, start leveling up here. Let's check out if we can do these right now. This is uh, something that you can access to when you get to level 15. And this is a new character because I wanted to see how quickly you could actually level up. Um, It seems to be working out pretty well. The damage is okay. Alright, there's the leather. I mean, we have some pretty shitty items at the moment, so... It's going to be fun to... See if we can actually find something that's better right now and... Just get this guy leveled up to the maximum level right so seems to go down pretty quickly there we go already level 16 this that was quick i think we were a bit in uh, little bit of lag issues at the moment it seems. I hope it doesn't really lag too much for you guys. There we go. So we have uh, four hard monsters here. Hmm. There we go, we got one of them down. I think that this guy could actually maybe bring us a bit more loot. So normally they can actually drop something useful. Okay. <clears throat> so I hope the volume, uh, the sound is okay from this new microphone. You guys could put in the chat if, uh, if it's working all right. Do I have some points that we need to spend that can sell? So this build is, you know, has been going up, uh, has been working out pretty well for leveling so far. It's been pretty fast. I think I started over the last week on this guy and I, I haven't been playing much in the last couple of days and I've been feeling very well so um, but you can see that is how quickly it, I have a lot of attack um, speed 
Let me just show you guys here. Uh, sorry, here. That I've chosen this way down here in the Sentinel tree to get some agility, attack speed, attack speed, casting speed here, and more attack speed, right? Agility, agility, and I went over here to get some dodge, dodge and force shield to get some survivability. And then we went down here to get more health, and more attack damage, so the uh, projectiles will hit faster, right? The harder, sorry, harder. Um, and um, the retaliator is great as well. So uh, we got some health regen, and then I went up here for more attack speed and to get some uh, toxic damage. So this is the build that we're running with right now, and it's, it's working out pretty good. Uh, I'm going to say, if so we got an extra point, we can spend. So let's just say, check this out, because uh, here we are we're in the assassin tree. Uh, it's poison stacks duration. Longer durations with the poison stacks. And, uh, we're killing them pretty fast, right? I'd rather have more poison damage. A chance actually 30% chance here 25 okay convert it into let's get some more poison chance going on we wanted to inflict that damage to the lead mobs more often right uh, here is only says 10% so I'm not sure if we were really gaining anything from those stats but we'll have to wait and see right so uh, let's just keep going here and get some more XP. I learned, uh, some time ago, I uh, I actually did a uh, review on a keyboard. I have it keyboard, and that's the keyboard that I'm using still. It's actually pretty good. And uh, I also told everybody in the review that it was pretty good. So it it is pretty good. I mean. I'm gonna I'm going to keep this for a while. Oh this guy is actually doing a bit of damage. Okay, there we go. He's down. So mm -hmm -hmm. I am really looking forward to some new content for this game because you know you know all the uh, you know all the uh, creatures now, uh, all the enemies, and you ca can kind of predict everything. You know, so I am looking forward to trying those new creatures that are coming out in the next content patch, and I really think uh, it's going to be cool to to get a little bit of you into the story, right? Um, be nice to see you know what is everything is going to be uh, wrapped around in the story here it's not doing much damage I could just sta be standing here and just knocking that guy down I think let's just spend this point get some more agility which will give us a little more dodge chance and attack speed and uh, that is damage right attack speed so there we go I'm just picking up blues and stuff because I haven't got much uh, I haven't got much uh, gold on this character so the poison damage yeah. so we definitely we got a bit more uh, chance now to get the to inflict poison damage I think all right so actually we just need to challenge the boss right now but See if we can just get there. Let's get away from that guy. He's going to explode. Yeah. Okay. So 
any of you guys uh, that are watching right now, are you playing this game as well? I know this is still one of the games that I talk mostly about at the moment here on my channel because it's kind of new channel and um, but I want to be uh, I want to be covering more stuff, but I just need to figure out what uh, kind of games that I want to jump to next to this one. So if you have any good uh, you know ideas of, of games that I should be covering, just uh, let me know in the chat, guys. Would be fun to see you. what any of you guys would like to uh, would like me to cover up as long as it's in this same genre I mean okay here we go that's pretty See, I'm just gonna pick all this stuff up because we need some gold, right? Uh, yeah, let's get it out. We're almost full. So I think we can actually complete this and then we'll go empty up our bags as well. Let's see if there's anything that we can use. That's the right bandana. Let's take that one out as well. Oop. Actually, I'm uh, I'm playing right now at the lowest settings because I have a, a bit of lag issues here while I'm streaming. You know, I, I need to I need to start you know getting up. A, I need to upgrade my computer a bit. I think so. Get like a better graph. I'm running with a RX 580 at the moment. So it's bus time, let's go to the bus here and get him down, right? Double hit. We'll love to get the small ones down here first. Do some piercing, some piercing, piercing damage against. I right, hit both of them at once. At once, but didn't really work out the way that I wanted to. <laughs> okay, let's watch out for the breath here. Yeah, I was a bit slow, but I did dodge that attack. Uh, what are, What are you doing now? He's really wanting to just over here and do stuff to me breath coming up need to get away from that charge I'm moving away from it as well that's another charge okay there we go level 17 as well so cool landing for this dungeon so um maybe we could actually do a harder one right now uh but let's just see if we can get anything useful here uh actually actually i am considering to go a little bit down here in Movement speed, dodge, dodge. Mm. You know, something that could gain our damage directly from uh, protect projectile damage. It should be uh, one of these critical hit damage down here. So I'm actually going to go down in a bit here into soldier, I think. 
And then we're probably not going to get en enough points to get all the way down here. But then we can respec away from all this poison again. Let's go with the ferocity for now. And move the way down here and see if we can get these projectile increases, increase the damage increase. Sorry, I can't speak today. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, agility. Confirm. All right, so actually, let's just drop all this crap here. We can just see if there's anything we could use. Level 17 stuff, I mean. Twenty-five hour resistances. Let's go with that one, just to give us a little bit more. Uh, we could actually equip this one. It's a no, it's a sorcerer one, but we could actually get a, a bit of defensive here, defensive force shield or defensive dodge change. So let's get that in there. So that will help us out a little bit. And uh, let's just drop all this stuff here and move on. I think. Here we go, next level. So, it's going to get a bit harder right now. But I hope everyone is feeling uh, fantastic today. Mm. Oh, we start off with the Demon of Souls. They are pretty nasty, these ones. So let's see how well we do this. Maybe it's uh, going to be too hard for us at the moment because we are this low of a level, right? Yeah, let's see. Uh, yeah, the teleport is quite far away. And. They're doing quite a lot of damage. I don't think we're going to survive this. Maybe. Well, they are getting lesser and lesser creatures there, uh, so maybe we have a chance actually of surviving. As long as you don't really he teleport us to this nasty location. This is not efficient leveling, I, I can tell you that. But it's quite fun actually. See if we can survive it, because we are pretty pretty low geared for this right now. But let's see if we can actually pull this off. Yeah, right. but we want to get away from that. If you stay in the middle, and those circles there are going to get you, then we are dead for sure. to get the heck away from him. That's the stuff that you don't want to get caught in, because if you get caught in those circles, then you're going to be frozen, and then he will do that uh, insane breath on you, and you will be dead. Now we did screw a bit up a bit here, but we were lucky that he didn't start the breath directly on us here. Planned right. Yeah, we, we don't really have enough damage for this yet. It's going to take a lot of time to complete this. But let's just see here. Maybe we can get lucky this guy will actually drop something useful for us. Yeah, we got him. So let's see, we got uh, just some blue items, right? 
not really that effective for us at the moment but actually we can just try and take a look at our damage right now three three nine let's go crit two no it's not working out with the two pistols <laughs> it's a funny build though but uh, let's continue a little bit up here and see if uh, we should continue this or not So for any of you guys that don't really know, we have uh, we have started up this Patreon channel as well. So uh, where we're looking for new members, and um, it is possible to actually go on our Patreon site and uh, sign up, and you will get uh, extra extraordinary private videos from me with the different guides and stuff like that. And if you have a company, it's a possible to get mentioned in future videos and stuff like that so maybe for some it could be interesting but I just wanted to mention to you guys so that you know so far this is actually going pretty well I mean it's easy, to, easy enough to survive I just uh, like to have a bit more damage right now but you can see we, we're fighting off these guys that are actually dropping level 19 loot, right? And the bow that I'm wearing is level 8. <laughs> it's like 11 levels lower. And I'm, I'm killing these guys with a bow that are 11, 11 levels lower, right? It says something about this build that is quite efficient, actually. We just need to find... We just need to be able to find a better bow, I mean, with with the right stats and the right gems as well. Let's see, oh, did survive that. These demons are demons of souls are pretty mean, right? Doing a ton of damage. Oh, that was weird. Did you see that? <laughs> Something really bugged me up there. Bugged me up. Stop fucking me up, man. Did you drop anything? No. Come on. Okay, so we just need to challenge the boss really to complete this level. So just need to have the courage and have the will to keep on going. Uh, and we do have that, right? Keep on rocking. Rocking and rolling. Just uh, die. Did we go that way? No, we did not. We could try and go this way and see if this leads us to the boss. Oh, we need to get away from that. When he's doing that, uh, he can one, probably one shot us with that ability, so it is very wise to stay the heck away from that guy.
A lot of arrows coming out fast. <laughs> I love playing as an archer, it's pretty freaking awesome. And I actually, I'm also in dialogue right now with the company about a giveaway. So I think it's uh, it's been a while since we've done the last giveaway. So I am working on it and I would love to get going on the next giveaway really soon. Because I kind of promised a lot of guys that we were doing uh, some more giveaways, right? So. Uh, I am definitely working on that, you should know that, so remember to uh, do not miss out on the giveaway, remember to click the uh, bell, so be notified when I'm live with the next giveaway, right? Uh, as of now, I don't really know when, it's probably going to be next week, so it's not too far off, guys. I'm in dialogue right now to find out what we will be giving away next week, so... Um, definitely consider checking that out when the next giveaway is happening so uh, and if you're in another country or something we uh, we ship it out to people in whole whole of Europe so don't worry about that you can attend the giveaway even if you're from Hungary or something <laughs> so don't worry Last time we did give away a Steel Series headset worth of 200 euros, so that was pretty cool. And I am hoping to find something around that value as well for next week. So definitely remember to click the bell to be notified so you can attend the next giveaway. And Actually, just thank you for hanging out with me here at the moment. <laughs> That's pretty nice. It's cool. Okay, so it seems like we have the bus up here. So let's check it out. Let's check him out. What kind of creature that we have? Oh, there's another demon of souls. I'm not really good friends with him. Because they are doing a ton of damage and you need to, yeah, I was too slow there. You need to really step away from these guys because they are hurting us, hurting me, you a lot. So you need to respect them. Especially this ability here, it will really ruin you if he's doing the... Uh, This is why you run away. <laughs> you can actually teleport me quite far off. Nasty bugger. Uh, so he actually went again and teleported us to somewhere completely different. Uh, I'm actually kind of caught in the here now. I don't know if we are going to survive. Ooh. Oh, there we go. We just made it. So this is the stuff that we want to get away from, especially that ability there, really screw it up. Alright, let's get the sky down, hopefully. Ooh, nearly dead. This is 
get a mark on that guy. Actually, just need to get some rage. Okay, so where are you now? He's over here. There we go. Oh, actually, we got a yellow ring. Well, that could be something for us. Let's just check it out. We got the Seven Sisters ring at the moment. It's giving us health and stuff, but I think it will be... Yeah, we get some more damage with this one. And actually, that's an upgrade, so that's pretty nice. The other yellow item, I don't think we could use that, so we're just going to leave that and carry on here with um, getting to the boss. So we're level 18 and we started at level 15. So two more levels and we can start equipping some cool items. And w then we are at the max level in the beta here. So this will be my second character right now at the maximum level. But it's, it's really quickly to be leveling up. I mean, you can see here, just on this live stream, we level up from 15 to um, how can we use that now? From 15 to 18 at the moment, and we are definitely gonna get hit max level in during the stream. So, hey Socrates, welcome back. Nice to see you. Sorry, I didn't see you there in the chat. I'm not sure if you are. Uh, if you did uh, right a long time ago but so here we have the boss now this guy is actually he got machine guns and stuff so he's he really want to take take us down man let's get some of these guys down let, when he starts shooting and moving towards you you just move, okay? <laughs> it's doing a ton of damage. See, when he starts using those... Could you guys let me know if the, if the volume is okay, if the sound is okay? Because I got a new microphone today, so I really hope that the sound should be better. stuff you just move away from that because it's hurting like a truck uh, like a you know no <laughs> typical okay so we got we got hit too much there no worries shit happens so let's sell off some of this gear that we have here that we don't want to be using. Buff all resistances. Let's actually use, just swap this out with something else here. Or resistances. I'm too low to use it. Okay, so let's just get rid of all this stuff here real quickly. And so we can get a move on because we want to hit the maximum level really soon. I'm just checking if there's some of these spells I can use and there was actually two of them that I didn't have so that's pretty awesome let's sell off these right uh, can we upgrade this to the maximum level maybe uh, yep we can all right all the damage dealt directly but reduced overall damage Reduce cooldown at fire damage. So I want the slowing effect and at fire damage. That would be cool, right? Uh, let's see here. Increased area of effect, reduced reload time, increased area of effect, and increased damage right now. Okay, 
That's cool. Critical hit chance score, 5%. Thank you for that. That should give us a bit more damage here. Yeah, almost 400 now. And we are ready to go again. So let's keep going here. Uh, actually, I just need to spend my points. We can just do that right now. Agility. I only want agility, dodge, and attack speed for this build, right? So let's keep going. So I think now we should st uh, start off with just uh, only be picking up yellow items for now, just to get the items uh, swapped out as we kind of level up, right? So why couldn't I hit that guy? I think he was bugged out or something. So this is uh, level 19 enemies, again, that's the guy that we want to move away from, when he pulls you in, he's going to do like a massive, massive blow with the, with the weapon, with a big hammer, a big axe that he's wearing, like that, see, and if he hits you with that ability, then you will be dead, so. So that guy and his axe, you definitely don't want to be, <laughs> want to, you know, get too close to that guy. So here we go. Right. So let's see what we have done here. Nothing special. that we got some increased damage on that ability on that I should never start picking up stuff again I should really not do that I want to have like yellow items to choose from okay this way so it seems right now that we just need to go and challenge the boss uh, let's see leather boots yellow we're picking those up. That's really useful for us, I think. Maybe we could be lucky they have movement speed. 3% movement speed, we got... Uh, we got some resistances as well and more health. So let's take them on. We're running a bit slower now, but... Survivability is also alright in this place right now. With this low gear that we have, so... So let's see, we got an alpha swear enemy up there. Let's just clear out this bit first and then we will take that guy on. Because those are the mobs that are actually dropping the most legendary and unique items. So we could be, be lucky maybe to get unique or legendary because it's been a while since I found one. So let's see here if we can be that lucky. So let's keep an eye on him, what he's doing. Breath. Uh, okay. He's probably gonna do like a, like a charge. Yeah. Fast and tough. There we go. Two yellow items, it's not too bad. But I was hoping to get uh, something better from that one. Oh, we have another rare here. Let's take care of that guy as well. We can actually get close to him. He's not too dangerous close on that guy. So there we go. And 
Not the yellow item. really love to find me a better bow at the moment because we got a level 8 bow equipped <laughs> and we're starting to get to the maximum level now so that bow has really done a good job level 19 here we go uh, no weapons lying around we could actually maybe if you could see like a blue maybe a blue weapon could be better right now because I guess blue weapons don't really have gem slots so I'll have to wait and see okay so 20% crit hit chance let's get that one let's check out so we got a bit more damage almost up to 400 damage right now and that is pretty good so Started to get a bit more damage going here. Oh, that was actually hurting a lot. Whew. Gothic pistol. <laughs> okay, let's get a bit of toughness now and some more agility. There we go. So we got one last level to get up, and we almost. Got the first bar filled for the this level as well, so oh. okay, that thug is doing some pretty nasty damage when he's up close, so I was a bit too slow to get away from him. There we go, great bow, yellow one. So let's check it out. 14, 22 damage, physical damage, leech. I don't know, we got these two two gym slots. I don't think that it's going to do more damage. 411, no, see, it's like 100 beneath this. And this is a bow that's level eight. What the heck is going on with that? Right. <laughs> oh man. Okay, let's keep going here. So, um, I'm really looking forward to uh, getting this to the maximum level right now and start doing some more fun stuff. Because I have a bow lying around that I want to equip on this guy. I'm not sure that it's going to do more damage, but it's going to add two extra projectiles. It's a unique bow that I have lying around, so we're going to take a look at that once we get to the maximum level. We could actually also, if we want more survival, we could equip a shield and a pistol maybe. If you do that, you will have the shotgun effect. It's pretty funny. Actually, I can't show you. I have a shield on, but... Wait a minute, there was a pistol lying around here. I can show it to you. I think I think there was a pistol here somewhere. Maybe if we find a pistol, I will let you know I will show it show you the shotgun effect. And there's also builds around that where you use Okay. I am pissed. Let's pick that one. Ruby ring, no. Okay. So we're getting closer to the boss now. So 
So we have a unique, uh, rare monster up here that we need to take care of. Let's just see here. There's no, no. So it's just this guy left. He's going down pretty easily. There we go, right. Uh, I picked up a blue item. I don't want that. I don't want that. Uh, we have a two slot thing here. Ah, oh, wisdom. We don't really want that, right? Okay, let's, let's see. We also got a rare monster up here that we need to take care of. That's just me <laughs> sounding like a douchebag. Okay. Beta spitter. Die. All right. So it is about to become boss time. Boss time. <laughs> uh, okay, this is be pretty easy. I hope. They got quite a lot of shields going on, but. Ow! Okay, we got one more rest left. So hopefully I should be able to manage to get that guy down. He got quite a lot of health and he's... You can see all the... Uh, he got five perks. Elemental shield. Elemental shield, fire in boot, material shield, regeneration, and unstoppable. So the regeneration is pretty, it's pretty annoying because he's re getting his health back. If if I don't, I can like kite him around forever because this is gonna regen right, and the shield is also gonna regen. So I want to get this guy down as fast as possible. But it doesn't really look like he's able to survive this. So here we go. Gothic pistol. Let's pick that up. Uh, nothing really amazing that we could use. So I'm just going to end off here. Going back to Stonefall. And we will deliver this quest here. And see if we, there's possibly something that we could use. We got an emerald ring here. Let's check it out. Maybe that could actually replace our level six ring. <laughs> level six. <laughs> actually, I didn't find anything that could replace a level six ring. How embarrassing is that? See, my level six ring is doing a better job. It's doing more damage than this one. I mean, so I'm forced to keep using my level six ring here. Uh, let me just show you guys the shotgun build. Put on a, if you put on a shield right and you put on a pistol. So you can see down here in the corner, pistol shots with shield. That is the shotgun build. It's quite funny, right? 65 damage. Damage is really crap right now because uh, this weapon is obviously crap, right? But if you find a decent one, it can actually do a lot of damage. So let's see if there's anything here we can use. Hi. Hi. Come. My son is just coming here. 
said hello. Hello. Can I say hi? Hi. <laughs> That's good. All right. So my son is here, and he just. Happy to come in and See ben. say hello. Ben. So, he's drinking water in the van. Yeah. Yeah. Good boy. All right. So let's keep going, guys. Here. Uh, that was my son in here saying hello. It's pretty cool, right? Have you guys got any kids as well? Let me know in the chat. And then we can start a new channel uh, called a diaper king and we can <laughs> discuss what's the most and the best and cheapest diapers to get in town and where are the cheapest ones <laughs> all right i'm just having fun here that's great right so back to business We are close to level 20 now. We have only two and a half bars left. It's cool that you guys are still watching. All right, so, no, that guy didn't drop anything useful. Too bad. So really what you want to do is soon as you hit level 20 in this game you really want to have some kind of items with gem slots if possible get some gem slots and you know they, it will buff up a lot of your stuff right so you can uh, start doing some veteran dungeons and i also need to explore this uh, archer build and see what is going to be the most efficient because I don't really know that yet. I mean, I could have played Archer on my main character, but why should I do that really? I mean, I, I love to have, just have different kind of characters just hanging out, leveling up and stuff like that. So I, I don't like to be bound to one character. Lord X, let's pick that one up. That was a yellow one, rare item. Uh, let's hope that we can find unique items or something like this. That we'll be able to equip. Half a level left, or half a bar left. Then we will be reaching the maximum level. Pretty cool, right? Sorry, I no, I oh. <laughs> okay, he means business. There's a few some stuff going on here. There's. Experimental pistol, yellow one. Well, let's check it out. 20, level 20. That's nice, right? So let's see what we have here. We have a pistol with one gem slot. It's actually not that bad. Let's see if what it does to our damage. If we put that one on, 445. You can see that is actually doing more damage and it's just one pistol so it's that's pretty good so we're wearing a pistol now <laughs> and uh, it sounds a bit different right And it's not uh, quite as fast as the bow. But uh, actually, I think that we should 
Let's see if we can get back to town right now and equip some of the other stuff that I have lying around and we could find some of the better gems. So actually I'm just gonna I'm just gonna die right here. It's the quickest way to get back because I can't teleport back. You can't use town portal here. So I'm just going to let this guy kill me off. We'll hold down the X so we can get back to town. Right, the party have been defeated. Oh, too bad. Okay. So let's get rid of these three items here. Uh, actually, wait a minute. Let's buy this one back because I want the gems. <laughs> Those are high level gems. Let's just get the gems out. There we go. I almost forgot about that. Okay, so let's see what we have lying around here in the chest. Here we have a whole bunch of unique items and legendary items. Um, so actually I was thinking to maybe testing out this bow here. Evacuant's Obsession, level 33. It got uh, more agility and two additional uh, two additional uh, projectiles. You can see he's three arrows at a time, right? It's pretty pretty neat. Uh, the damage is not that high from it, but let's see if we can uh, actually do something to to buff up the damage here. So we're going to do a live build right now. Let's just go in here and reset this, the points. These points I would like to use in agility right now. And just go in here and have a look because uh, we have some projectile damage going on down here and we have some attack speed here, right? And I would love to get some crit here on the way down. So we are going to get agility, attack speed, attack speed attack speed and actually I would love to have more agility and veracity crit 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 veracity attack speed movement speed and we're going to grab projectile pierce every target and projectile critical hits, projectile damage, increase projectile damage, projectile damage, and projectile critical hit. Right. Let's run with this. So we have a lot of speed still. 250 damage is not that high, but uh, we have should have a higher crit chance now. Let's see, crit. Yeah. We might be a bit limited here in options. So let's see what kind of rings I have here. And so this amulet so let's see if some of this stuff could give us a bit more damage legendary amulet giving us a bit more and we have this ring of the arbiter right it's going to take away some attack damage and it's not really bringing the damage for us no topaz ring nope a little more damage here, 270, 300, that was better. I'm just, you know, sometimes it's just quicker than looking at the stats and just uh, trying out some different stuff here. I also have this kite shield. We could actually try something fun because think that I have maybe that's on my main character that I have 
a pistol that is actually doing quite a lot of damage and then we have this shield here so if we bring on the shield and we do this shotgun build 140 damage that's not enough that's not really enough 300 with the bow okay let's try and rock with this bow for a moment let's just put this stuff back into here and uh, Let's see what we can do with this. So, we're back in the game. Actually, I want this surrounding, it spreads and explode. That's awesome. So, let's check it out. So we got the extra projectiles and it's actually able to hit multiple targets at once right and it's going to pierce them as well so even though the damage is not that high it's attacking really fast and we're able to to get them down because it's pierced you can see this is the guys that i was struggling with for demon of souls so i just got them down like that very easily so this is really a great bow, this one. So I'm going to, I can hit them all the way down here. And the further away they are, the more damage this is going to do. So we get another pistol here. We seem to be finding pistols at the moment. No chest? No, no chest there. All right, so let's keep going down here. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yep. Nice. It's quite fun actually, this build. I mean, I have to experiment with this to know what what the best would be. But right now we're just playing for fun, right? With this, so forces. Oh, take a look at this. Attack speed score and okay. What happens if I put on two pistols? 350 damage. Oh, that's fun as well. But this is three projectiles is more damage than two projectiles, right? So I'm still gonna do more damage with this as it is right now, I think. It's just not showing you in the numbers. But you can see here, I'm really hitting everything. see the extra, extra projectile is also working for the phantom blades I have three now so this bow when it grants two additional projectiles it's also granting extra projectiles for my skill see so if I if I take the bow off and I put a pistol on. I only have one blade, right? If I put the bow on, then I have three blades. Oh man. That is actually really nice. So. That is amazing. So actually, just mark up this, that guy. And he will explode, he will explode, he will explode. You can see they're doing a ton of damage to each other. Nice. 
So I do triple damage now with Phantom Blades because of this. And also the, uh, you know, the arrows that are falling down has also given us extra. I would love though to have something that could give, that could actually give some um, lifesteal. But I could get that on something else, maybe a ring or something could grant me lifesteal. any more spells I could use that also gives you know gains that I gain from it with the extra projectiles but it's really neat that I grant two extra blades that is just crazy it's triple damage on that ability maybe there's a way to actually buff up with that I'm just thinking loud right now Try and make this build even more viable. And if you think about it, you know, all the other gear that I'm wearing right now is just really crap. So once you get some legendary items with three gem slots and stuff like that going, it's going to do a lot of damage. And you can actually find stuff that would grant extra projectiles. You can get it from rings as well, I think. I think I saw a ring at some time, at some point, but you can actually grant an extra projectile there as well. So, all right. So, first time, guys. Woohoo! Stamina. Oh. Okay, there we go. Iron Fist. Wingard boots. Pretty easily stuff. Okay, next level. We're going deeper. Deeper and deeper, right? That is just awesome. It's already performing pretty well, this new build. I'm quite happy about that. So we didn't really f find anything like uh, rare or legendary yet, but We will probably be doing that soon. Nearly died. I was able to use a potion and stay alive. Okay, 
interact, so I need to pick this one up. Pretty cool, man. So that's why this bow is just pretty damn good because it's giving you extra projectiles uh, for your spells as well. It's just really strong. Good here, and right, and some gold and stuff. No, okay, misshape swear. That's not gonna grind us anything nice. We're flying at the moment. It's working out pretty sweet. Oh, that's oh. I just got away from that. Seriously, it shouldn't. It shouldn't have been. It shouldn't have been able to hit me. Oh, okay. I guess I'm getting a little bit tired here. And I start making mistakes when I get tired. That's a pretty good run, actually. Let's see what we have here. Anything usable? Bruises. I want some ropes. I want the rope stuff, to be honest. Because I think it's cool. That will give us a lot of health. But I need to consider redoing the build because I think that I would try to make a build around for shield and see if there's something cool about that that we could do agility toughness hmm. uh, let's see no it's not gonna give us any more extra damage but I guess toughness I mean if we should run with the pre uh, with the uh, what is it called Sorry, I can't remember it right now. It's called Praetorian build. The retaliator build. Then I would gain even more damage from this because you got extra toughness. But yeah, I need to speculate in how to work with this build. But uh, thank you guys for watching this stream and uh, make sure that you check out our check off our our patreon page and i'll just see you guys later right thanks for watching and staying here with me and goodbye guys have a great evening see you later peace